Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Maltrap here coming at you with Game 3 of the show match between HD StarCraft, aka HD Gamer, and Combat EX. Game 3, the deciding match. This is for the honor of either Berkeley or Toronto. HD saying, whoa, Combat, what up? They nerfed Zerk, apparently. <laughs> okay, so this is on, um, of course... Steps of War, a very, very interesting map um, for this kind of a matchup. It's a very, very short distance. Look at this, Beep. just right across the map there. Very, very short distance um, <clears throat> to get to the enemy base. And I think, I think I heard, yeah, that's what it was. They, they decided to, okay, yeah, so we can see, in fact, 20 hit points on the drones. F they decided to play at 90% um 90 percent handicap on uh the third game for some reason so that's going to completely change things in ways i have no idea how it's going to work uh combat running in with a few probes here it's a few of his first probes for some reason to try and attack some drones and loses a drone i'm sorry loses a probe and these are going to have to run around as well um so yeah and in fact is the damage different no the damage is the same it's just that they have half health um, and the drones have only yeah, 20 hit points instead of uh, that's very very strange um, instead of 40 so they're I think they're half health as well um, basically half health anyway uh, combat's just going ahead of and setting up a gateway in the front here I think he was saying uh, <clears throat> something about his nexus oh my goodness his nexus has 500 oh never mind I was, I was, he was saying 500 yeah so nexus with less hit points as well I believe very very interesting all right well <laughs> they're playing with a handicap on in this game so this is gonna be strange um so basically the handicap is you know if you're like playing with your friend and you're way better than him you can play with your units at um lower hit points so that you they have a little bit of an advantage so you don't have to change your play style too much you don't have to like take it easy on them but it'll still be easier for them and combat cons persisting with these probes here um, in any case, so uh, very, very interesting game so far. We had in game one, uh, combat had some really good early pressure and uh, did some really good harassment. <clears throat> Look at what's going on here. It's only 700 hit points, 750 hit points on this uh, hatchery, and he's trying to power it down with just probes. He's actually done a decent job of taking a, a good chunk of uh, hit points off of that, but I'm not sure why combat is con deciding to fight with probes so much. Um, trying to catch him off guard a little bit here. Zealot is being produced as well now, being chrono boosted out. But uh, yeah, so spawning pulls up. He's producing. Actually, he's not producing any zerglings right now. That's kind of strange. I guess he doesn't really have the money for it. Um, I'm not sure why he doesn't just produce a f handful of zerglings and kill off these probes. Uh, okay, there's the zerglings in production now. Uh, in any case, uh, yes, very interesting games. Kind of all in ish for both games, I guess. Um, you know, you had, uh oh, and there's the zealot coming in. Spine crawler's just been put down. He looks like he's gonna try and target down the hatchery, actually. Since it is so weak, he is gonna try and target down the hatchery because it's full damage. Um, zerglings are now in play. Is he gonna be able to save that hatchery, though? 140 hit points. Oh, the zealot. Oh, if the zealot had, if he had targeted it, then I think he could have taken it out, but he didn't really fully target it. So now, um, HD with some zerglings that have 17 hit points. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, what is with this game? So, 17 hit point zerglings running around there, so it must just be a percentage of um, a percentage of hit points. Uh, maybe it's not a 90% uh, handicap, maybe it's some other handicap. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I, I don't know what, I, like I said, I just heard they did a 90% handicap, but I could have been wrong about the number there. Uh, in any case, um, we haven't really seen any standard games, I guess, in this whole series, actually, come to think of it. Uh-oh, HD's going to surround those zealots. Oh, no, he's going to surround the zealots, kill both of them off. Three zerglings with just a handful of hit points amongst them are going to run in here, and he's going to be able to harass probes, although the probes are going to be able to fight pretty well against these zerglings since the zerglings have no health. Um, and, yeah, he's just going to be forced to run away, basically, at this point. Um, 
He's getting gas. He doesn't have enough for speed yet at this point. No queens either. No, I'm sorry. One queen over here at the natural expansion. He's con continuing to produce some zerglings here. So it looks like we're not really going to see a very standard uh, game. Well, it looks like it might turn into standard. Combat going ahead and getting a sentry. And never mind, uh, getting a stargate as well in the back. And let's see. Where's the stargate? Um, I thought I saw a stargate. Where is the stargate? Oh, there it is. I thought it was another gateway. So the Stargate going down in the middle of the map. Sorry about that. And uh, that's actually a pretty good move because it seems like the things don't have different damage. The damage is all the same. Um, it's just that the hit points are lower. So a high damage dealing unit like... Uh, oop, I missed a little bit of an engagement here at the front. It looks like he was just scouting mostly. A couple Zerglings on the ground. He couldn't get them away. He forced field to keep those Zerglings from escaping. Um, so a high damage dealing unit like a Void Ray is actually going to be pretty good if he does, does go for the Void Ray. He might, of course, go for Phoenixes. We'll see momentarily. Um, but anyway, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there's the Void Ray coming out. And that, that does make a ton of sense because... Um, you know, you're going to be able to kill stuff really, really, really fast. Lair is only half done, and this Void Ray is already in the making. Uh, he's only got two queens. He really, really needs a third if he's going to um, deal with this Void Ray here. He does have an Evo Chamber, so hopefully he'll produce um, a Spore Crawler um, pretty soon here. Even though oh, Spore Crawlers are just not going to be able to do very well at all against Void Rays. If he has two Void Rays, they're going to be able to kill it off pretty quickly. Um, looks like the... I'm um, sorry, I might have missed it again. It looks like this uh, Overlord dove in to try and see what was going on. Oops. Um, whoop. Dove in to see what was going on. Let's go ahead and ch just double check to see if, co if... Yes, he did see the Stargate with his Overlord when he dove in there. So he is producing a Spore Crawler there, another Spore Crawler there. Very, very nice move. But there's a Void Ray coming across the map, and that's just going to be kind of the the uh, the wedge to wedge open HD's defenses and the rest of these forces are going to come in here and, and probably do the main damage. Two queens and some spore crawlers to fall back to are going to be able to deal with that void ray pretty well. It looks like combat he's going to try and put a forward pile on here and, uh, and start um, putting a lot of pressure on uh, HD. Now as far as income goes they're pretty much about even. Uh, combat does have a lot more probes but he's only on one base right now. Uh, so he's not going to be able to do it quite as well. Com coming with the stalkers on the low ground. Force fields not very effective. Not keeping those roaches very uh, far away at all. He's actually baits him into the spine crawlers as well trying to kill off those spores so he can actually oh and the void ray goes down trying to escape trying to kill off that spore colony i'm curious if he's going to transfuse that spore actually it might be a handy thing to do only 200 hit points i actually don't know how many hit points the spore crawler usually has i wonder actually i wonder if these buildings are the same 150 uh, I don't know off the top of my head what the hit point level is roach is counterattacking now combat force to put down a pylon just as a blockade, it gets popped, and HD is actually busting into Combat's main here. If he can get out one Void Ray, he's going to be able to hold this off. Oh, pops the pylon, powering all of his stuff. And uh, HD now just basically has to decide if he's going to keep these units in here and do what damage he can while they live or get them out. He is just going to try and do what damage he can. And uh, that Void Ray is going to slowly pick them off. In the meantime, he's going to try and kill off some probes. Uh, looks like he might have been trying to target the uh, Stalker there. Not going to do very much damage, actually. He probably would have been better off targeting probes uh, at that point. Loses all of his roaches, but again, he you know he could kind of afford to kill off all the Void Rays and um, all the ground forces of combat. So combat running off of one uh, Warp Gate and one Stargate right now, and he's actually putting down more gateways, <laughs> interestingly enough. Uh before powering up his other gateways and getting an expansion of his own. Hydralisks are out now, so that is actually going to be a really good move. I actually, I, <clears throat> he had the, He's had the layer up for a little while. Getting the Hydralisk range is almost done as well, and that is pretty much going to nullify these uh, Void Rays. And oh, here he comes in, trying to, oh, gets picked off the low ground. The Void Ray falling back from those Hydras um, stopped giving vision, so the Stalker wasn't even able to get any shots off. So these Hydras are going to be super, super powerful in this battle right now, because he has only had the Stargate, Stargate tech. I don't think he has Robo at all. No, no Robo at all. So he's nowhere near Colossi, and Colossi are really the main counter to Hydralisks. So... Com uh, HD is actually in a really good position right now. Let's actually check out the income. Yeah, he's droned up a lot as well. So 
Um, he's actually got pretty good saturation at both of his bases right now, building a spire in the background as well. Very, very wise move, actually. Um, even though there's no, no reason really to have a spire at this moment, well, I mean, actually, Mutalisk Harass would be very, very effective. But um, you kind of, you might as well get that spire. If you've got Hydralisks, you almost know the Protoss is going to get, oh, doesn't get trapped, loses only a Hydralisk. Nice harassment there. You almost know that the Protoss is going to go for... Um, Colossi, so it helps to get that spire earlier, so w you have that spire around. So if you see Colossi, you can back up to your main and or to your choke, I guess, and build corruptors to defend, so you can kind of be okay. Um, uh, is kind of the way that you can do it. Um, of course, there is no Robo, so you know not going to be quite as good. He's actually just continuing to build Void Rays, which is interesting. Uh, uh oh. HD's going to have to cancel that. He does barely cancel it. Um, it's charged up. Oh, wow. Three, three beam. Uh, th oh, never mind. Lost his charge. But a, th a three a three charge Void Ray, not going to be very good uh, to deal with for the Zerg player. He's got plenty of Hydralisks, but um, anyway, would have picked out that hatchery pretty quickly. Um... Anyway, so combat just kind of powering up here, getting stuff on the low ground. I like the fact that HD is taking this third base. He can't quite break combat at this point. He's got too many um, sentries and void rays and what have you. Um, what is going on here? Why combat is building a nexus on the low ground? Apparently, that's that's a rather interesting move there. Forced to cancel it immediately. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I think Combat might think he's farther ahead than he really is. He's not ahead at all uh, right now. He's actually, actually, I would consider him behind right now. So um, that's very interesting. Now, I mean, it might behoove him to take out these rocks and take a third base up on the high ground, on on that uh, that elevated position. And I actually like this move. Uh oh, coming in with some roaches and hydros here. Force fields go off, and actually, wow, just forces him to waste those force fields. Um, that was actually a really nice move. So, still a lot of force fields on these sentries, though. Uh, as we can see, he's got, let's see, one, two, yeah, six, seven, eight, probably about a, um, ten force fields on those on those sentries right now. Um, but anyway, if he kind of takes this low ground here, you can see it kind of blocks this choke as well as the choke up to his natural. It can protect this high ground expansion as well. But, uh-oh, HD kind of trapped. His Hydras are trapped in the back as well. He can't target down the Void Rays with the Hydras. The Roaches are going to work at the bottom stuff. But if he loses those two Hydras, he's going to be forced back with his Roaches. He is forced back. And he's going to have to run away and collect more Hydras. And, wow, Mutalisks, a single Mutalisk actually being produced. That's kind of interesting. Actually, two Mutalisks. An entire two Mutalisks. Does he have more... Um, somewhere... Oh, okay, nope, just those two Mutalisks. That's kind of interesting that he's made Mutalisks. Mutalisks are not really good fighting units. Oh, no, he's going to lose his hatchery. He just he lost all of his Hydras, so he doesn't really have anything for these Void Rays right now. A couple Hydras coming in. They're going to be able to take out one Void Ray, but they may die to the others. Yeah, they're going to die pretty quickly to the others. Roaches are going to chase those off, and he's going to polish off the hatchery. Ouch, that hurts. I'm not sure why he didn't produce more Hydralisks, to be honest. Here come the Hydras trying to come in here and snipe these Void Rays. And look at that DPS taking out those Void Rays so fast, even with the Void Rays charged up. Um, just a couple Hydras doing massive damage. These Roaches are going to have to run around, just try and uh, basically stay um, stay out of view of those Void Rays. And uh oh, is he dr drawing something again? Combat might be drawing something in pylons again over here. Um... Wow. Um, <laughs> now these Hydras coming in. Three Hydras should be able to barely take care of that. Yeah, he picks off one. The second one ooh, doesn't give chase to it. Too bad. Four hit points left on that Void Ray. One more shot would have polished it off. Um, in any case, but HD back down uh, now to two bases. He's going to try and produce this third base again. Um, but I'm not sure you know, if that's going to... He's going to need a lot more anti-air, basically. And I, he must have expected combat to... Look at this overlord. <laughs> Just chilling in the main. Um, he must have expected combat to go Colossi and been worried about that or something. Um, because he just didn't produce more Hydralisks. If he, if he had produced more Hydralisks, uh, he would have just been able to own that stuff. Uh, I mean, Hydralisks own basically everything combat has right now. They own Void Rays. They own uh, Cannons. They own Stalkers. Um, so if he just produces more Hydralis, he's going to be fine as long as no Colossi come out. And Combat is nowhere near Colossi at all. There we go. Okay, so he's getting a Twilight Council down at least. If he can get a uh, Templar Archives up, um, 
and get some High Templar out, those will be at least be a good counter to mass Zerg units. But um, right now, these Void Rays are not cutting it. They are not the kind of tech that he wants right now. The combat's doing a very good job of spraying his creep around the map, by the way. You can see the creep going all the way up to combat's natural expansion right now, getting this third base. And I think combat might even, I'm sorry, HD might even want to think about taking this high yield right now because he has pretty good map control. Well, uh, yeah, because, I mean, he may not know it, but Combat has barely any units right now. If we check the army tab, Combat is actually at 83 supply to a full 30 supply up, 127. And Combat trying to come in here and just um, snipe the hatchery, basically, with a couple Void Rays. Again, they're, remember, they're on uh, Handicap, so everything's low hit points. So, um... These hatcheries only have 750 hit points. I believe they have 1250, or I think in the last patch they upped them to 1500. Actually, that would make sense. Everything seems to be half health, so um, must be 1500. So um, it's really easy to snipe stuff like that um, with with things like void rays. Here's an, that last void ray with four hit points, 13 kills on it. Instructor. So uh, apparently this. <laughs> This Void Ray is going to take you to school. Coming in, trying to snipe this hatchery again. And, whoa, look at this. HD's forces are all over the map. Actually, does have a little squad of Hydras. Are they going to be able to get back here in time? 235, 220 hit points. And the Void Ray goes down very, very quickly. Um, in the meantime, look at this. HD setting up for a counterattack. Um, oh no, DTs are in the mix though. They're going to finish off the hatchery. Does he have any detection? He's got the Spore Crawler next to these spines. I don't know if it's enough though. DTs are... Where are the DTs? Where'd they go? They're running away for some reason. I'm not sure why they're running away. Um, uh, never mind. That's why they're running away. Because a couple DTs are already in the main. Killing off tech buildings. And this is really bad for HD. But he's going to counterattack. This chunk of Hydras is more than enough to kill this stuff off. Combat desperately trying to warp in some Stalkers. No! HD, keep counterattacking. You've got enough. Maybe he's worried about Dark Templar, I guess. He's going to try and run away until he can get something for detection. That actually does make sense. Otherwise, DTs would kill up, kill his force pretty badly. Does he have any Overseers anywhere? Yes, he's got a couple Overseers now. So that's going to um, help out a lot with that. It's just He keeps losing that extra hatchery up there, so he's putting on a macro hatch as well. Now with two Overseers... He's going to be in good shape. Not enough Stalkers to really pick off those Overseers either. This is actually a really good position for HD. Remember, this is Game 3 of the Best of 5. So it is getting very, very close to a win for HD StarCraft right now. He is uh, putting his third base down again. Almost mined out in his main, though. Um, in fact, he should probably transfer some of these drones to long distance mine at the very least, since and putting it on more hatcheries. Hatchery at <laughs> at combat's high yield. Combat trying to take his high ground expansion, but I don't know if he's going to be able to keep it up here. Oh, he needs to not lose those overseers. A few hydralisks. He needs kind of probably needs a few more hydralisks just in case. DT's running around the map, and that's the thing is those. Even though he's not going to be able to take on uh, HD's main force, these DTs are very mobile gonna put down a spore crawler I like that move but the DTs are probably gonna take it out before anything happens does he have any overseers handy he's got one almost built and it is immediately gonna run over there to these DTs uh, and his roach is probably gonna be able to deal with those pretty easily yeah a few more roaches and hydras in fact he brings his main army back there gets another hatchery down again Wow, so combat is being really really effective at forcing HD to cancel these hatcheries and what have you um, but I think it's over. I think I don't think there's anything else he can do. There's just a massive, massive army. Um, 145 supply, almost double the supply right now um, for HD. And here, uh oh, uh, sport crawler not quite in yet. Okay, there's the overseer up here in the corner, and a roach here. He just needs to put the two together. Put the two together. Oh, forces another cancel in that hatchery, and he is distance mining now at this point. Um, <laughs> this one DT being super annoying, but basically once he cleans up these annoying DTs, then um, then th th there won't be anything to stop stop uh, HD from from just rolling him. Basically, well, I mean he doesn't have a lot of defenses right now, but then HD can just take the map and contain him, and and that'll be that. Uh, anyway, I think that DT finally just went down. HD putting up more hatcheries here. He's long distance mining the high yield at combat space. And here he goes in for a major attack. Maybe a lot of overseers. He really doesn't want to have his overseer sniped and lose the DTs. So he's got a ton of roaches on the ground. And a lot of overseers on, on top as well. These um, um, 
excuse me, Sentry's planting down some really good force fields, but look at that, even loses, uh, I think, a cannon or two there. I didn't see how many cannons there were before, but loses some stuff, even though he put down some nice force fields, and this is just getting close to finished. Uh, combat really does need to keep running more DTs out, but he, look at this, he has so few um, uh, mineral patches left right now. Uh, well, I guess he has a lot of mineral patches right now, but these are all going to run out pretty soon. Well, 400, that's actually not too bad. Um, anyway... <laughs> these sentries are the only thing keeping him alive. Now, with four sentries, you can you can perma force field. So he doesn't quite have enough to perma force field a double wide ramp. Um, but and he doesn't. I can't do anything about his main at the same time. Here he comes, moving in with a lot of roaches and takes out the initial attack force very very quickly. Void Ray going to work on some of the roaches, but immediately gets taken out by Hydralisks, and uh, he's just gonna run up things around the back and try and attack this third base here. Combat desperately trying to get down Robotics Facility and Robotics Support Bay to get some Colossi out. I'm not sure why I didn't just go for Templar tech, to be honest, since he already had the Twilight Council out uh, for Dark Templars. Um, and look at this. Oh, man. Uh, robotics Facility is almost dead. Again, very low hit points on the building, so it's going to down very quickly. And we could see a GG here momentarily. Combat uh, has nothing to answer. He's got no annoying DTs on the map this time. HD is taking all kinds of extra bases around the map. He's got three times the size of an army. Combat X! Admitting defeat as both of his expansion bases go down. No more army. GG HD StarCraft winning in spectacular fashion after a very, very rough first game where he got um, completely, his all-in counterattack got completely owned. Um, and combat being very, very cocky has now been... Um, um, put in his place here by by HD StarCraft. Very, very, very nice games. Um, very, very well played by both players, i got to say, as well. And you notice there at the end, Combat saying, OSL Finals time. Indeed, these guys were actually playing during the GSL Finals um, and after it, I believe. So, um, actually, no, I think it was after it. Yeah, well, we were doing sound tests for the OSL Finals at the, uh, at the LAN party. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. GG. And um, by the way, those of you uh, that are subscribed to me, I'm probably, just a little heads up, I'm probably not going to be doing a ton of games uh, this month. I've uh, actually been kicked out of my house. We, uh, the house I was living in got a foreclosure notice, so I have to move in like the next 30 days. So, And I'm not sure where I'm going to move to or how I'm going to afford the rent very well. So... I'm going to be kind of doing a lot of packing and scrounging and that kind of thing, so I won't have as much time for, for casting, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys jo enjoyed this at least, and I'm going to try and get out a couple more games this month, depending. And I've got a lot of uh, Magicka walk, uh, Let's Play videos queued up. I just need to process them, and they're pretty huge files, but um, I'm putting them actually on my main account, uh, just Moltrap, youtube.com slash Moltrap, uh, if you want to keep watching the Magicka stuff. Really fun game. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Take care.